Chapter 5, Decompression Dive Tables and Dive Computers. As you have just learned, when you ascend and the ambient pressure decreases, the partial pressure of nitrogen also decreases and your body will off-gas nitrogen. The excess nitrogen passes from your body tissues into your blood. The nitrogen then passes from your blood to your lungs where you exhale nitrogen. This process occurs rapidly during the first few minutes after you ascend, but it takes many hours for your body's nitrogen level to return to normal. If you reduce the pressure on your body gradually, like we are doing with this bottle of soda, off-gassing occurs without a problem. However, if the change in pressure is sudden, the soda will bubble over just like the nitrogen in your tissues and can come out of solution and form bubbles in your body. These bubbles can damage tissues and can cause a painful condition known as decompression sickness or the bends. You must control the two factors that affect in and off gassing. You do this by controlling your dive time and depth. To do this, you must rely on information provided by dive tables, dive time calculators, and dive computers. You must also consider factors that can increase your chance of suffering DCS in situations where it might not normally occur. These factors include dehydration, fatigue, injuries, hard work during or shortly after a dive, the effects of drugs or alcohol, obesity or advanced age. In any case, you must be fit for diving and dive conservatively. For depths of 6.4 meters or 21 feet or deeper, Dive time limits or no decompression limits have been established. The time spent at a given depth is not to exceed these limits or you could experience DCS during or after your ascent. The United States Navy has established time limits for various depths. Recreational diving uses shorter time limits than those in the U.S. Navy tables. Reduced time limits have been incorporated into the NAWI dive tables and NAWI dive calculators as well as most dive computers. A certified entry-level NAWI scuba diver should not dive deeper than 18 meters or 60 feet. As a NAWI advanced scuba diver, you should not dive to depths deeper than 30 meters or 100 feet. The maximum depth for traditional recreational divers is 40 meters or 130 feet. To properly use dive tables, dive time calculators, and dive computers, you must understand the concept of residual nitrogen. It takes hours to fully absorb nitrogen into your body or fully eliminate it from your body. If you dive and absorb nitrogen, ascend to the surface, and then make another dive within 24 hours, you will still have nitrogen in your body from the first dive. You must always take the nitrogen remaining in your system from any previous dives into account when planning your next dive. The residual nitrogen reduces your time limits for any given depth on your next dive. The NAWI dive tables use a letter group designation to express the amount of residual nitrogen in your body. The letter A represents the smallest amount. The amount of nitrogen progresses through to the letter L. When you dive, a letter group from the tables designates the amount of nitrogen you have absorbed during the dive. As you spend time at the surface between dives, you're assigned a lower letter group as you off-gas nitrogen. When you start a new dive to a given depth, your letter group at that time determines the time representing the residual nitrogen in your body. The tables show you how to subtract this time from the normal dive time limits. The following terms apply to the NAWI dive tables. Dive schedule gives the depth and time of depth. It is expressed as depth over time. Maximum dive time is the time you spend at a given depth without having to do a required decompression stop. This is also known as maximum allowable dive time or no decompression limit. Decompression stop is the point in a dive where you stop at a specific depth for a specific time. Precautionary decompression stop is a stop at 5 meters or 15 feet for 3 minutes when you have not exceeded the maximum dive time. You should perform such a stop at the end of every dive. It is also known as a safety stop. Required decompression stop is the amount of time you must spend at 5 meters or 15 feet whenever you exceed the maximum dive time.
Actual dive time, or ADT, is the elapsed time from the moment you begin your descent until the time you return to the surface. Time spent at your safety stop does not have to be included in the actual dive time when determining your letter group. Residual nitrogen is the excess nitrogen remaining in your body from any dive or dives before you've completely off-gassed. Surface interval time, or SIT, is the time you spent at the surface. Your letter group will change and move closer to the beginning of the alphabet, depending on how long you spend on the surface. Repetitive dive is any dive that you make before you have completely off-gassed from any previous dive or dives. Residual nitrogen time, or RNT, is the amount of time you must consider as already spent at a given depth for a planned repetitive dive. Adjusted maximum dive time, or AMDT, is the maximum dive time minus the residual nitrogen time for a repetitive dive to a given depth. Total nitrogen time, or TNT, is the sum of your residual nitrogen time and your actual dive time following a repetitive dive. You use this total to determine your new letter group. You must understand the following NAWI dive table rules completely. Ascend no faster than 9 meters or 30 feet per minute. You need a timing device and a depth gauge to measure your rate of ascent. Use the exact or next greater number listed in the table for your depth. For example, you round up a dive of 13 meters to 15 meters. Use the exact or next greater number listed in the table for your time. For example, you round up a dive of 41 minutes to 50 minutes. Use the deepest depth you've reached during your dive to determine the dive schedule for your dive. Always make your deepest dive first when making a series of dives. Consider any dive shallower than 12 meters or 40 feet to be a 12 meter dive. Surface interval time must be at least 10 minutes between dives. If your SIT is less than 10 minutes, you must consider your second dive a continuation of the first dive. Now he recommends a surface interval time of at least one hour between dives. Use the next greater dive time if your dive time is particularly cold or strenuous. Avoid dives that take you right to the no decompression limit for any given depth and time combination. Always allow yourself enough time to make a slow, comfortable ascent with plenty of air. The NAWI dive tables are composed of three tables. Table 1, End of Dive Letter Group. Table 2, Surface Interval Time. And Table 3, Repetitive Dive Timetable. End of Dive Letter Group gives you a letter group at the end of your dive. It also gives you maximum dive time information for depths from 12 to 40 meters. The longer you stay on the surface between dives, the more excess nitrogen you eliminate. The surface interval timetable gives you credit for eliminating nitrogen by changing your letter group. Note the maximum in this table is 24 hours. All excess nitrogen is considered eliminated after you have been on the surface for 24 hours. Repetitive dive timetable provides your adjusted maximum dive time for your next dive and your residual nitrogen time based on your current letter group. You use this table twice for each repetitive dive. First, you use the table to find your adjusted maximum dive time when planning your dive. Next, you use the table to find your residual nitrogen time after you complete your dive. You add the residual nitrogen time to your actual dive time to find your total nitrogen time. You must systematically keep track of your depth, dive time, surface interval, letter group designations, and other information when working with the NAWI dive table or NAWI dive time calculator. There is a NAWI dive planning worksheet on the back of your NAWI dive tables. This method of calculating your dive times is called the profile method. Write down your planned depth of 21 meters or 70 feet. Add 3 meters or 10 feet just in case you exceed your planned depth. Look at Table 1 and find the MDT for your planned depth. Add 3 meters or 10 feet to your planned depth and find the MDT for your contingency depth.
Now it's time to dive your plan. Now record the information from your first dive and find your letter group designation. Record your start time, your deepest step, and the time you surfaced. Record your ADT, remembering to subtract the three-minute precautionary stop from the elapsed time.